going on, man? It's your boy, Uncle Demi, man. I got another video for you, man. This one right here, your two-way temple <laughs> pusher, yo. Like, have you ever I've, have you ever heard of anything like that before, man? A two-way temple pusher. Two-way temple pusher, right? Definitely have not seen that on the park, all right? I have not seen that anywhere. And to be honest with you, this build is one of those builds that's like, oh, uh, you're definitely going to need the right people around you for this build to work. And again, people come, <clears throat> you obviously you come to this channel just to see new, unique name builds, right? Even maybe one or two of them you might want to make yourself. I will say this one right here is borderline. It's a lockdown and um, that has playmaking ability. I mean, you can look into the build. But it's just, like I said, it's going to take a really, really golden squad to run with this, right? Let's just hop right into it, okay? <clears throat> so, of course, you want to use the playmaking and defensive chart, okay? Here, I went all the way at the bottom to get well-rounded because you want to have the strength, the speed, acceleration, and vert. I feel like this build can do a little bit of everything. It can help down low. You know, defensively, that type of stuff. So you want to try to keep this one balanced. So that's going to be balanced. One of the few times I actually say go balanced, right? Here, of course, everything's about manipulating the numbers. So you have to go 76, 75, and 75, right? All right? And then for your shooting, you just got to go mid-range and three-point shooting. That's all you can do with that. And I can already, you can already see how that can be a downside, right? 79 passing. Again, if you go too high, it changes it to playmaker right you can max out your ball handling and then you max out your post moves right here you want to max out everything all right so now you get what i'm saying when i say like this is basically a lockdown that can help with the taking the ball up the floor so this could be your point guard that um this is a bigger point guard that just plays defense stands in the corner Mm, and I don't even know, like I said, it's going to take a certain team, a special team that knows what they're doing, high IQ to make this work. If this individual wants to play with a, a, a name like this, you can do it. It's just going to take a special lineup. You can definitely hide this build in wreck. I can tell you that. You can have them up top if you're running your zone or pressing the ball with no issue. I feel like twos is not good. This build is not good for twos. And if you're running threes, like I said, it's going to take a special lineup to run this. Um, preferably, this build probably would have to be the point guard, like the, the primary ball handler. And the other two are going to have to be some really, really good shooters and scorers, okay? Maybe like a sharp shooting um, rim, or it's called a glass cleaner lockdown for 2K20. And then a scoring machine or one of those playmaking shot trades, you know, one of the meta builds, all right? <clears throat> here you can pick any type of body type i just went like um burly i thought burly would be pretty funny all right six five two oh five eighty one and then here like i said to me i think that the lockdown would be the best because that's just what you pretty much are or you can go playmaking right a two-way temple pusher and i really think that you know victor Oladipo, marcus smart and donovan mitchell are these type of guards they're two-way temple pushers they're definitely guys that play both sides of the court and they definitely push the ball up the court than their playmakers. And all of them, well, except for Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart is more of a poor man, two-way pusher. Um, actually, he might symbolize really what this build really is. He actually might be exactly what this build is. He's not known for his shooting. He's not known for much anything offensively. He's just known for being a point guard, a secondary ball handler that can play really, really good defense. So, actually, I agree here for once. Marcus Smart is a two-way tempo pusher, right? So, let's go ahead and test this build out. Of course, here you want to just go ahead and max this out to 99. All right. Finishing badges. Whew. Giant Slayer. And then shooting. Quick draw. Just try to get it up. Um, playmaking badges. Like I said, you want to go Dimer and Floor General first because this is what's going to help you out the most. Quick first step. Um, stop and go. And then um, where you at? Uh, I handle for days. I honestly think that. You know, maybe Lob City Passer because you're gonna be doing a lot of passing. Um, space Creator, like I said, it's really up to you. I think these four are the most important, and after that, um, I don't see Ankle Breaker and Tight Handles being much because you're just not speed boosting. Um, but you know, hey, maybe that is for you. 
Um, if I had to pick, I probably would just go with Lob City Passer, right? Um, and if not Lob City Passer, then Downhill, right? Defensively, this is where you really can have fun with it. You definitely want to get Clamps, Intimidator, Pickpocket, and Pick Dodger, right? And then I think you should go Rebound Chaser and Gold, right? And Interceptor, right? Because I think that you'll be able to get a lot of rebounds here. Remember, your rebounding is high. It's like 80-something. Um, and... You know, my, um, one of my clan members, Flow Jerk, he plays with a rebounding wing. And that dude be getting mad rebounds, bro. Like, with <laughs> rebound chase, he get mad rebounds. It's crazy. This is a really good badge. So I think this will be the best badge lineup defensively. But again, this is your call. It's whatever you feel is the best. I know the um, Tyler's Defender is another one that's really good. So again, it's your call. If you wanted to try to make these gold. Uh, and then put it here. You can do that too, all right? Your call, your build is your call, what you think is the most important, all right? So again, this build is unique. It's gonna take a very unique lineup to run it. I think it will be dope. You know, if you if you make this build, you're guaranteed to be the only person in the park with this build. I can guarantee you that, all right? You better have some go-to teammates though, that's for sure. But this is what the whole purpose of this series is, to make rare builds. This is definitely a rare build. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, please, if you made this far, drop a like in the comment section. I mean, drop a like. Please subscribe and definitely put a lock emoji in the comment section to let me know you made this far. Again, I stress this in a video. I stream every day on Twitch. If you want to watch me play competitively, please um, follow me. and I mean, subscribe to me on Twitch. That's where you see me at. Um, it's like I said, usually after 6 o'clock, you can find me um, streaming live on Twitch. All right? Other than that, man, your boy Uncle Demi is continuing to drop these videos. If you continue to like and subscribe and show support, I'm going to continue to make these videos. I hear y'all loud and clear. Y'all want to, um, some of the videos that y'all have been dropping, telling me that you want me to drop. So I will drop those for you. Um, I'm writing them all down as they come. It just takes time to make these things. And I have a lot of other things going on. You know, I got kids, man. Like, you know, I got to raise my kids. I got to do daddy duties. I got all these other things going on, too. So, um, but I do appreciate the love and support. And I do appreciate the patience. Um, and, of course, as usual, I'm going to come back to you very soon with another banker.